kids, thank you for tuning in to CCTV. Now let's get ready for some announcements. Hey kids, welcome to Children's Church. We are so glad you are here. But guess what? Next week, you're going to be in the building. We cannot wait for that. It's going to be awesome time. So make sure you're here, okay? Hey, we got one big announcement, and that is this. You guys earned your first 50 memory verses. Yeah! Because you know what? I still got some oatmeal in my hair and some slime in my hair. Still have to go wash it out again. But guess what? We can do it again. 50 more verses, and you get to slime the intern, Miss Elizabeth. Okay? So I know you can do it. Hey, guess what? If each of you would learn one verse these next two weeks, we would be there. Can you do it with me? I know you can, okay? So make sure you learn it. Tell your parents to send the number in that you've memorized, and we will let you know when our next slime time is, okay? Hey, today is Father's Day, so here's a quick Father's Day quiz for you.
some awesome worship. Reggie, did you like it? Yeah, I liked them motions. They were they were pretty crazy. Well, hey guys, how oh, are hi, you? Miss Anya. Hi. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. How about you, Reggie? I'm doing all right. Well, cool. Hey, I hear you're going to help us with our memory verse today. Is that right? Yeah. Cool. Uh, I was looking for some of my friends, but they seem to be hiding. Oh, boy. Not again. You were hiding one time, and now we have to go look for your friends? Yeah, they were running around the church somewhere. Yeah, they do that sometimes. How about this? How about you tell me the first line of our memory verse, and then we'll go find your friends, and they can help us with the rest of it. Does that sound good? I think I can do that. I think you can, too. Are you ready? I think we've been learning it. Do you know it? Yeah. Okay. It starts like this. Okay. He provided redemption. That's right. He provided redemption. That's the first part. Now, are you ready? We'll go look around the church, see if we can find your friends, and maybe they can help us, Reggie, with the rest of it, okay? Whew. I kind of forgot the last part. Okay. Well, I think they can help us. What do you think? All right, so here we go. Let's find his friends. Hey, we found your friends, Reggie, didn't we? Yeah, they were sitting in these pews here. What are you guys doing here? We've been looking for you. I thought we'd come back to the church building today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, not today, it's next week, remember? Uh, oh. All right, so Reggie says that you can help us with our Bible verse for this week. Can you do that for us? Yeah, yeah, we can. Okay, let's let Reggie say the first part, and then you guys can try the second part. Are you ready, Reggie? Yep. Okay, let's go. All right. He provided redemption. For the people he ordained. Very good. Let's try it all together now. You say it with us. Are you ready? Go ahead. He provided redemption for his people he ordained. Very good. All right. That's not all the verse, so let's go find some more friends. Can we do that? Let's do it. All right. Let's go find them. All right. Well, it looks like we found another friend, Reggie. Yeah. All hey, right. Hey, what's up, dudes? <laughs> what you doing? Man, I've just been chilling, listening to my beats, you uh, know. Okay. Well, we need your help with our memory verse, and Reggie said you could help us. Is that right? Yeah, I memorized it to a song. It was like, doom, 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 doom. Okay. I got you. Okay, well, let's tell you, Reggie will tell you what we have so far and see if he can help us with the rest of it, okay? All right. All right, All right. ready? It goes like this. He provided redemption for his people he ordained. Do you know the rest part? Uh, yeah, it's his covenant forever. Oh, that's right. Yay. Okay, let's say it together. You guys ready? You two say it together. All right. Here we go. All right. He provided redemption for the people he ordained. His covenant forever. 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 Oh, forever. Okay, forever. All right, let's go look for some more friends, Reggie, and let's try to finish this verse pretty quick, okay? All right, let's do it. All right, thanks. All right, hey, kids, we found another friend. Yeah, how you doing? I'm doing good. What have you been doing? We've been looking for you. Oh, I've just been here eating these cookies. Oh, okay, well, right now we need your help uh, learning our memory verse, okay? We've learned part of it so far. Let's see what we know and then see if you know the next part. You ready, Reggie? You tell them. All right, it goes like this. He provided redemption for his people he ordained. His covenant forever. Do you know the rest of it? Can you help us? Yeah. Okay, let's hear it. All right, I think the next part goes like, holy and awesome is his name. Oh, I think that's right. Holy and awesome is his name. All right, can you say it with us? Let's say it so far. You ready? All right. Here we go. He provided redemption for his people he ordained. His covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. Oh, that's great. I think the only thing we have left is where it's found. Can we go find another friend and see where it's found, Reggie? Let's go find it. All right, let's go. 
Hey everybody, we found the rest of our friends. No, let's start it again, ready? One, two, three. Hey everybody, we found another friend we think. So we're gonna ask him where the verse is found. Hello, friend? Are you where here? Where is my good trumpet call? Oh, a trumpet call, okay. Reggie, could you help me make a trumpet call maybe? Ready? Okay. The king has arrived! Okay, hi king, how are you today? I am dandy. Alright, well we have a problem. We need some help with our memory verse. We know the words, but now we need to know where it is found. Can you help us? Uh-huh, I am the king, I know. He knows everything, I think. So, alright friends, let's say the verse, what we know so far together, and the king can tell us where it's found. Are you ready? All, all right, right. On, all right, on three. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. He provided redemption for his people he ordained. His covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. King, do you know where that's found? Why, yes, I have heard this verse. In fact, I know it. It's found in Psalms 111 9. Oh, Psalms 111 9. Yes. Yeah, now we remember. All right. Let's all say it together. Can we do that? On the what? command of three. One, two, three. He, he provided redemption for his people he ordained. His covenant Hey kids, good morning. I'm so glad you're here with us, especially for our Bible lesson today. I love this lesson. Last week was exciting, wasn't it? We saw Philip uh, tell the Ethiopian eunuch about Jesus, and then Philip disappeared. Isn't that cool? Because he had to go tell somebody else about Jesus. God's Spirit can do that. Listen, today's theme is this. God's Son changes everything. Jesus is God's Son, right? And He changes everything. So we're going to learn a little bit more again about the new church. Remember, the day of Pentecost fell, and they were baptized, and then they went out and started telling people about Jesus. And now we're going to learn a lesson about somebody who didn't like that. In fact, his name is Saul. And let me read to you a little bit how Saul felt about the new Christians. It says in Acts chapter 9, and it says this, Meanwhile, Saul was still breathing out murderous threats against the Lord's disciples. He went to the high priest and he asked him for letters to the synagogues in Damascus. So, you know why? So that he could find them and anyone who belonged to the way, that was mean the new Christians, that's what they called it, whether men or women, he could find them and take them as prisoners to jail in Jerusalem. Wow! Saul was one mean dude, and he did not like Christians. But you know what? Something's going to change for Saul, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Let's see what God's Word has to say, okay? Here we go. It says... Welcome back to Bethel News. This is Judy Juniper. We're sorry to interrupt your kids' program, but we have some breaking news. It seems that the early church has been hard at work because there are several Christians... However, they've been met with some controversy as a man named Saul has been persecuting them and killing the Christians. We have Liz Stephaganopoulos live on the scene to see what's happening down in the early church. Thank you, Judy. This is Liz Stephaganopoulos live on the scene. I am on the road to Damascus and I have seen Christians running by like crazy. It seems that Saul has been chasing them, trying to kill them. 
In fact, I see a couple coming right now. I'm gonna try and interview them. Hey, hey, excuse me. Why are you guys running? Saul, he's, he's chasing us. He's persecuting Christians. He's gonna get us. Oh, so you guys are Christians? Is that why you're running? <laughs> yeah, that's why we're running. Saul, he went to the, the synagogue. He got some letters. And we gotta run. He's coming. No, no. No. Oh, my goodness. You heard it, folks. They literally have to run for their lives. It seems that Saul... Yes, and that's what my sources are saying. Saul has gone to the high priest and asked for the letters to the synagogues in Damascus. He is searching for people along the way to kill if they are Christians. In fact, oh my goodness, I see Saul coming right now. I'm going to see if I can get an interview, Judy. Excuse me, excuse me, are you Saul? Yes, I am. Is it true that you're persecuting Christians? Of course I, I hate Christians. Why? Why do you hate Christians? They're awful. They're awful people. They're always telling people about random things that they believe. Is it true you're going to try and kill them, sir? Every single last one. Oh, my goodness. Well, thank you for interviewing with me, sir. Yeah, I got to go find them. I'm not going to lie, Judy. I'm a little scared right now. That looks like a mean man. I don't know what's going to happen, Judy. You'll have to stay tuned, okay? After this commercial break, we'll see what happens with Saul and the Christians. Do you ever get tired of walking through fields, getting attacked by rocks and prickly things? They just make your feet hurt. Well, not anymore, because we've got Jesus sandals. <laughs> well, here you go, kid. Jesus may have saved my life, but Jesus sandals have saved my feet. For just 30 pieces of silver, you can have your own pair of Jesus sandals today. Coming soon to a trading post near you, Air Jesus. Oh my God! No! Shipping by camel may be more expensive in some areas. Air Jesus cannot actually get you closer to Jesus. Some side effects may include love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. If you're experiencing any of these symptoms, praise the Lord. Welcome back to Bethel News. We are currently following Saul to see what happens on his way to Damascus. Will he kill the Christians? Will he not? Let's check it out. I see him up here. Oh, what is that? It's, it's what? blinding. What? Make it stop. What? It's a blinding light. I can't see anything. Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Who are you, Lord? I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. Now get up and go into the city, and you will be told what you must do. Help me. Where are you? Help me. I can't see. Oh, my goodness. Judy, did you see that? I couldn't see anything, but I heard this loud voice, and I don't really know where it's coming from, and this stuff is starting to freak me out. I don't know if I want to be a reporter anymore, Judy. First people disappear, now there's voices. I don't know what to do. Back to you. I really don't have notes for this. Guys, I need some better notes. If people keep disappearing, and there's voices in the sky, what am I supposed to do? I'm just Judy Juniper, okay? I don't know, Liz. I don't know what's happening. All I know is that crazy stuff is happening to the early church. This is Bethel News. We can't really report it. We don't know what's going on. We don't trip, I guess. Wow, that was awesome. Jesus spoke to Saul on the road to Damascus. Isn't that cool? And now Saul can't see. What's going to happen? Well, he went on to Damascus, and let's see what happened then, okay? We're still in Acts chapter 9. Here's what it says. In Damascus, there was a disciple named Ananias, and the Lord called him in a vision and told him, Go to the house of Judas on Straight Street and ask for a man from Tarsus named Saul, for he is praying. And in a vision, I told him a man named Ananias would come and place his hands on him to restore his sight. So God told Ananias, go and see Saul. And guess what Ananias said? Okay? No, guess what he said at first? He said, he said, 
This man is, I've heard bad things about him. He's come here with authority to put a, us in prison to arrest us. I can't go to him. But here's what the Lord told him. He said, go. This man is my chosen instrument to proclaim my name to the Gentiles. Wow. So you know what happened? Ananias goes to see Saul. And guess what? He tells him, Saul, I'm here from God. He told me to come to you and to pray for you. Boy, Ananias was brave, wasn't he? Did you know that, that Saul had actually been there when people were stoned to death? We, he was there when Stephen was stoned to death, and he approved of it. That's what the Bible says. But you know what? He had changed because what? God's son changes everything. So Ananias prayed for him, and here's what it says, okay? He says, and something like scales fell off of his eyes, and Saul could see. Wow, now he has his vision back. What's he going to do? Is he going to go back to hurting Christians? No. His heart was changed. Why? Because God's son changes everything. Listen to what Saul does, okay? Saul says, at once he began to preach in the synagogues that Jesus is the son of God. Wow, Saul changed. Now, if you know who I'm talking about, Saul was his name. Later on, it's changed to Paul. And Paul actually wrote many books in the New Testament. His life was changed, and many people came to know Jesus because of him. Isn't that awesome? Now, listen, God can change you, too. Did you know that? It doesn't matter what you've done or what you've said. Jesus can change you because God's Son changes everything. If you need to be changed today, maybe you need to ask God for forgiveness like Saul did. Maybe you need to repent and find redemption. That's what our verse talks about. Remember our verse for this unit? He provided redemption. That means he saves you from what you're doing wrong. If that's you today, I want you to bow your head. Or if you know somebody that needs that, bow your head and pray for them as I pray, okay? Let's pray. Jesus, thank you that you provide redemption. Even for somebody as mean as Saul, God, you change our lives and you make us new creatures and new people. And we thank you for that. So God, we pray if we have sin in our hearts today, if we need to change, would you change us? Will we repent and we ask you to forgive us? Or we pray for somebody out there that we need, that needs to know you, Jesus. Would you change them? Would we tell them about you? Uh, and so, God, we ask you that in Jesus' name today. Amen. Don't forget, guys, always, Jesus, God's Son, changes everything.